to hurry up and say sorry, get all that YouTube jargon away. Sorry for not being as communicative or involved with you guys as, as usual. I'm just going through a lot in my personal life. Don't want to get all sad, but and mopey. But you know, I'm just going through some stuff, guys. Thank you guys for the support. Giving away two free copies of UFC 5. All you got to do is join the Discord and send me a screenshot if you subscribed with notifications on. Now, I was debating on what I would make in this video. I was debating on what I would talk about. There's a few things going around the community right now. Uh, the issue with the weight classes uh, being restricted and not letting you choose your own weight classes and, it's, and it being for 24 hours. That's a big thing that's going around. And also the video that uh, youtuber made about the inf influencers actually ruining UFC 5 so I was one I was thinking about talking about that I was thinking about talking about uh, one of those two things but I think everything's about that's already been said as for me uh, just to say my piece a little bit about that guys I don't really do this for money uh, it takes me five videos to make back what I spend to make one video so I'm definitely not doing this for money uh, also, I used to make wrestling content, right? So if I wanted to make money, it was all for money. I would continue to make wrestling content. I took a, I completely stopped making it. I was getting thousands and thousands of views. Uh, the money was decent, but I stopped after a while because I just lost passion for it. So I don't think anyone can really question my integrity. Uh, just simply because I, I would be way bigger than I am now if I continued making those videos. But I hated making the videos, so I stopped. There you go. That's my piece on that. Uh, so anyone that's want to say I'm this or that, right? But I want to talk about something that's not ruining, I, I guess, ruining the community in a sense, right? I'm fine. The, the community can be divided. The community is probably going to be divided all the time. People are going to love the game. People are going to hate the game. That's not what makes a community bad, right? Whether it's influencers hyping the game up, overhyping it, hating on the game, hating like... Well, that's that's normal. That's not going to divide a community. What to me, what divides the community, what's kind of ruining the community in a way, is the fans or the the supporters. And it's not. I'm not talking about you guys that are watching my video right now. I mean, maybe some of you, maybe some of you guys are haters. But what I mean by that is, is you can't as an influencer, especially at least what what I'm noticing. Right. I even have a few people in my comments saying this. You can't have a balanced opinion. You can't say this sucks about the game. But I also like this without people constantly telling you, dang, bro, it's either dang, bro, pick a side. But if you say something good about the game, nah, bro, this, 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 you're a shill, right? I, I personally haven't had that happen to me too much because I'm one of the main ones who have been trashing the game. I'll be honest. But what I will say is that I've seen people who, uh, anyways, are the opposite, right? You'll say one thing bad about the game and it's, oh, you're just trying to ride the wave. You're trying to ride the wave of of uh hating on the game so you can get more views i get that one a lot hey guys i want to tell you something my if you go watch my videos most of my videos that have the more views have been the positive ones so if i'm saying something negative about the game it's not to garner viewership that and that's that, that that's definitely true so what i what, uh, to go on to say this right I, we have a creator for example uh king 12 diaz he makes a video what is it he, he's he's known for saying positive things about the game like uh, at least from what i've seen he just he doesn't really say too many negative things yada, yada, yada. he says one thing negative i believe and then they're saying he's hating on the game this that, and the third he's riding the wave i i believe i think it was king 12 ds right to me that's ridiculous right as supporters you guys should be you guys should be happy that your favorite influencers can go outside of their normal position right if your normal position is being excited for the game being optimistic you should be allowed to take a step out of that and be real and say hey this is not good right but it seems like the community wants you to be super ultra against the game or super for the game i'll give you guys a i'll give you guys a comparison right people want you to either be like the way martial mind is perceived people perceive martial mind as someone at least most people they think he only says positive things about the game they think he hypes up the game because he's partnered with the a right so that's how people feel about Marshall. I'm not gonna. I'm not saying if that's true or not. That's not. That's not the point. What I'm saying is that's how people perceive Marshall. They either want you to be like Marshall Mind in that aspect, or they want you to be like a Prioxis, completely bash the game. Not too many positive things said about the game, or like a me, right? Not too many. Or not even like a me, because I I do I do a lot of both. But they want you to be like that. They want you to be super 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 hardcore, super extreme. It's kind of like politics, right? They want you to be super left or super right. And the thing about that is, once you get into the extremist ideology in almost any sense of the word, 
in regarding anything, you run into a lot of issues. You run into a lot of oversights, a lot of ignoring facts simply because you want to maintain your stance. I guess because pride or ego. Oh, sorry. Oh, my back. Anyways, <laughs> so with that being said, guys, you don't want us to be like that. Like, at least you shouldn't. You probably do, but I mean, you, you do, but you shouldn't, right? I should, I should, as a creator, I could, as a creator, I should be able to make one video saying, this is amazing. I should be able to make my next video saying, this is garbage, right? That's not the case though. For example, here's another great example. I game you watch, right? Big content creator on TikTok. A man says one good thing about the game, says the game looks beautiful, talks about how good the character model looks, yada, yada, yada. Immediately starts getting hate count. How much did EA pay you? How much did... Bro, if you watch iGame You Watch, you understand... By the way, fire name. iGame You Watch is a fire name. Anyways, if you watch dude's content, he'd spit... Next! Like, he bashes the game. He bashes the game harder than I do, right? Like, I'm over here, Steve Dave! He's over here like, next! Right? Not impressed, next! Right? And people are still saying, how much did EA pay you? Like, you... Guys, if you're going to say something like that, at least have the context, right? Have the have the context. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the issue is people don't tune into people enough to understand what type of content they normally make because people will like, for example, comment on I game you watch this video and say, "How much did he pay you? You shill, shill." But they didn't watch the 20 videos before that when he's saying, "Not impressed." Next, right? So it's. Just, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous and i think guys as as supporters i don't like to use the word fans but as supporters i really think you guys have to understand that you guys don't real you guys may it seems like you guys want this but i'm telling you you guys don't want us to be like that you guys don't because at that point like i said if you're if you're str extremely for one side or extremely for the other you're compromising the the, the facts that's what i'm saying you're on, on this channel i'm never going to compromise the facts right I'm going to enjoy playing UFC 5. I am. I'm going to like it. I'm going to enjoy it. But will I ever, will I ever, I guess, shill is the word that's going around? No. Will I ever straight up trash the game just to garner attention? No. I'm always going to say how I feel about the game, guys. And if you guys say, oh, you're flip-flopping, you're flip-flopping, so be it. So be it, right? So be it. You can paint any narrative you want, but all I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, for the people that support me, Guys, I'm going to give you the most authentic, the most real, and I don't mean the most as in like compared to other people. I'm not saying, oh, I'm realer than all these other people. But what I'm saying is I'm going to give you guys the realest and most authentic opinions, videos, things that I can, right? That's my, so guys, please, please chill out with immediately calling someone a shill if they say something good or immediately calling someone a hater if they say something bad. It's not good for the community. It's really not. It, you know, it's just... It's just dumb. It creates a it creates a toxic mindset, a, a toxic mentality, and it's it's spread throughout the entirety of influence the influencers that post. Right? I don't see any. I don't see very many influencers that don't get these sort of comments, and it's kind of weird to me. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It kind of makes you want to keep your opinions to yourself in a way and just play the game. Right? Like shut up and play the game. That's kind of what you want to do. You kind of just want to upload content. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Any uh, anything you want to say? If you made it this far in the video, put uh what's a good what's a good restaurant put olive garden if, if you don't like olive garden unsubscribe right now right now uh steve dave steve dave uh i'm gonna say my comments real quick actually on the uh the deep dive guys the deep dive came out uh for the presentation game looks beautiful oh, no, no no sorry the game modes guys game modes are disappointing uh but that wouldn't matter if the gameplay was is was amazing Undisputed 3 didn't have to have a bunch of game modes. I'm not even I'm not saying it did. I don't think Undisputed 3 had an overwhelming amount of game modes. But if it if it didn't, what I'm saying, right? If it didn't, let's say it didn't. It didn't have a good like a good amount of game modes. It wouldn't matter because the gameplay was amazing, right? You can put lipstick and a wig on a horse all day, but at the end of the day, it's still a horse, right? It, it, you know what I mean? So that's my opinion with the uh, the present, uh, with whatever, the game modes deep dive. I'm not, I, I, from what I uh, saw, the career game, the career online career mode is trash. No offense, EA, sorry. Uh, it's just not that, you know, good. Uh, the offline career, from what I've gathered from different devs and all that, it's not very exciting either. It's the same thing. Some people like that. I personally don't. Uh, it's the same for the most part. There's some 
you know, there's some way to make it your own in terms of, st oh, stand and bang, or oh, simulation, or oh, not simulation. That's cool. I'm always a fan of that, and uh, you know, creation. But other than that, the game modes are pretty meh. And then on top of that, online world rank championships. EA, I'm a huge fan of you guys taking calves out of it. I hated fighting calves. I don't know why I just hated it. I much prefer regular uh, fighters. But the the weight classes, the ranked, whatever, uh, restricted weight classes, that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, it's nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. No, nobody likes it. That's all I'm going to say on that. I'm not going to, you guys have already seen the videos. Sorry guys. Um, ran, ran it a little bit. I don't really use a script when I make videos like this. I don't, I honestly, I don't, I mentioned three things and I talked about all of them basically. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Like I said, uh, put Olive Garden in the comments if you made it this far. Also, join the Discord, guys, for the giveaway. Uh, and send a screenshot of you being subbed up with notifications on. Also, uh, also, all I just, all I want to say is thank you, guys. Thank you to those of you who made it this far. Seriously, thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, right? <laughs> it was, uh, I don't know, I just, I really appreciate you guys. You guys have been showing a lot of support. I don't deserve it. I think I'm, <laughs> yeah, anyways, before we get on, I don't want to get into all that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm choking up, man. I'm getting all emotional. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. It's my T-Dog. And I'm out.